Hi and welcome back to the Polymer Clay channel. So thank you for being patient and waiting for me to come back. So I am back. However, you might hear some squawking here and there and maybe some of the outtakes because you know, that's me, right? So welcome back to the Polymer Clay channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a London style red door. Now you're gonna ask why on the earth I've decided to make a London style red door. Well, the reason for that is because I was having a chat with one of my brothers and he was telling me about a place in Santorini. And in Santorini, they have a dedicated shop where they make doors. Now that sounds a bit weird, right? Well, I'm gonna link it down below because it's absolutely fascinating and it is gonna be something that I feature later on in one of my videos because I love Greece and Santorini and all the beautiful blues and the whites and everything. So I'm gonna do that at some point. So back on to today, I'm going to show you how to make a London style red door. So here we go.
thanks for watching the tutorial so I'm going to show you what it looks like now so this turned out to be really really big now I liked the size of it but as you saw the start of it I had to kind of like bake it in the middle and then move it up and the reason for that is because I wanted to get the nice uh, top part in where the numbers are now obviously this is done out of um, liquid clay so you can see right the way through it and what I might do later on and I'll obviously put it behind me at the moment where my seahorse is uh, so you can see it I'm gonna put some lights here so when I turn it on it will look like someone's home which is I don't know, a bit weird but you know this is art and I think stuff like that so so let's talk about the door so the door was the main part obviously um, and making the little decorations for it I just absolutely love and you'll notice also that I haven't put much mica powder on this let alone any glitter I know what's going on so uh, the little lock handle and also letterbox and also the knocker at the top as well as what we call it here uh, a knocker I don't know what you guys in America call it but I'm gonna go for knocker so anyway, um, making those was really fun. I'm just going to zoom in hopefully a little bit so you can see uh, a little bit closer up there. We'll put some videos at the end so you can get a nice close up of what it looks like. So making the walls either side, I wanted to dirty them up a little bit because let's face it, nothing is perfectly white. So, and obviously it being effectively an outside door, um, I wanted it to look really realistic. And then being a posh front door, I wanted it to have a posh plant. So instead of making my usual flowers, I made one with just leaves and a plant pot. Now the design is extremely flat, as you can see, um, and it doesn't stick out much at all. So it'd make a really, really cool decoration that you can hang up. Now I do make a lot of hanging decorations, but this is something that perhaps you could copy of a family member store and have it as a present or something like that. Now this I've made from designs that I've seen in London and also some pictures that I've Googled as well. But as I said in the start of my video, I want to actually make some Greek ones as well. So my main focus will be in Santorini because there are some absolutely beautiful looking scenes. And if you remember, I did a scene uh, for a present for my dad a little while ago and I did a video about that as well. Now I'm going to link that in the description as well because I'm going to be doing a similar painting sort of style in the future as well. So from the top here, as you saw from the tutorial, I made the uh, numbers that kind of floated inside. That wasn't too difficult. I did have to make the liquid clay quite thick and then very gently pop them in so that they didn't sink. Now obviously sinking the numbers would actually look quite cool um, but it has a tendency to fuzz them out a bit. So I wanted them to stand out. So I made it quite carefully and popped them in and left them there uh, to settle. And the liquid clay does settle after a while and then it doesn't move so easily. So I textured the top part as well, made the brick stand out quite a bit at the top and I just made the brick a little bit more detailed uh, so I just put some marks in it and sort of overdid where the brick was whereas I didn't on the white part so I thought it gave it quite a nice contrast. And moving on to the decorations, you will see this sort of design quite often in London. I'm really not sure why but I think it's because they're sort of quite old houses generally terraced houses as well so they're all stuck together um, and they're made around the 1900s so this design is sort of really really old-fashioned I absolutely love it so and I made some I'm just zoom in a little bit so you can see the little flower decorations again these are quite normal I was going to make lots of different patterns and things like that but to be honest it was taking me a long time as it was so as it stands I've got about eight hours worth of editing to do after this but you know that's the pleasure of being on YouTube so um, and then the plant as I mentioned before um, that was really fun to do when you're making something that is 3d it does have a flat back to it um, so basically it stands out and then it sits on the flat background really well so this is how you make a red door little scene from polymer clay thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon
I would like to bring you to another video. And I'm talking a load of rubbing. Oh, oh, it's early in the morning. Fluff on my face. La la la. I've got to walk the dog like this later. You've got no idea how thick this is. Anyway. Not going to take up singing anytime soon. Frog impression. Uh, la, 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 la. So I'm going to do that at some point. So back up to. Uh, see, I told you. Ha. So back on to today. Uh, la. I think this is a half pint. But it covers my face anyway. I think I've got a couple of pint ones. Everyone knows me for my love of coffee and my love of big mugs. I do actually collect mugs as well. This one was, well, it did say goddess at the top. Um, but it's rubbed off, so I've just got stripy bits. So cool, yeah, makes good coffee. Do you have cups that don't make good drinks, good hot drinks? Like China, for example, makes a terrible cup of English tea. And I can't describe what it does. It's like really watery and just nasty. Yeah, I drink it with milk. So I have tea and milk and I do the traditional tea thing. I know most of you uh, lovely Americans out there will probably hate that. So I just want to say thank you to my uh, 947 subscribers. So I just want to say, th oh. So I just want to say thank you to my 947 subscribers. So yeah, subscribe, like, share, comment. Write me some comments. I'd like to hear, you know, from all around the world. That would be lovely. Um, and what else? Oh, tell me where you're from. So if you want to comment and you don't want to say much, just say where you're from. That'd be lovely. That would be lovely. Very British, wasn't it? Ooh, that would be lovely. That would be great. Thank you. See, I, I, I can't do, I can't do not posh British. I could do not, not posh British when I'm, you know, not filming. But this, this filming lark, honestly, I turn into Mary Poppins.